Hello, hey, welcome to Kids Craft Lab. Today, because it's November, we're gonna make a door decoration out of paper corn cobs and some paint. And it's really gonna be great looking on your door or on your wall somewhere for November. So that's what it kind of looks like. So let's get started. Um, the first thing that we're gonna need is um, a piece of poster board. And I have one that happens to be green, but you know, um, just a scrap of poster board. And we're gonna be turning that into the backing of our wreath. I've got um, some paints in some fall colors like this, just some temper paint. Um, I've got orange and red and yellow and purple and you might have some brown. And I have a paper plate to squirt them out on there because we're gonna use some brushes. I have a foam brush and I have a regular brush to use with the paint. Um, I have some markers to draw some things with. So I'm gonna be drawing some corn cob shapes. And I also have, we're gonna have experiment with a crazy way of making an, our paper corn look like a real ear of corn. So we're actually gonna use an ear of corn. If you have a potato masher, <laughs> you might wanna try that. Um, if you don't, you know, we're just experimenting with all the things that we have. And, um, or if you don't have an ear of corn or a potato masher, you might have some bubble wrap around. So we're gonna use that. Um, I also have some different colors of green construction paper and some white construction paper. And of course, a pair of scissors and some markers. So let me turn my camera to the tabletop so you can see what I'm doing and do it along with me. So there is my piece of, uh, my, it's my base for the, the wreath and it's a piece of poster board. So wreaths are usually circles, right? So what I did was I went in my kitchen and I got the biggest plate that I could find. There it is. And I'm gonna use that as a template. A template is a pattern. So I'm gonna use it to make my nice big round shape. And so you can see that on camera, I'm going to draw with my marker all around this big old plate to make the base for my wreath. There we go. I'm just tracing the edge of my plate all around just like that. Okay, and now wreaths are usually open in the center. There's a, and so I need another circle. There, can you see my circle on there? Yes, you can. All right, so I need another smaller plate to make that inner circle, and you'll see what we're going to do. So I have a smaller plate that's orange, and I'm going to set it down in the middle, and I'm going to turn this big fat circle into a ring with an open center. So I'm going to trace this one now too. Smaller all around and just put it in the center, measuring it and I am drawing it. So now, put my plates away and I have a picture of a ring. So I'm gonna cut it out. First, I'm gonna cut out the ring around the whole outside edge, just like this, cut, cut, cut. And all around. So now I have a circle, but I still don't have a ring. I just have the lines that I made. So now I'm going to cut out the ring. This might be where you might need a little bit of adult help to cut the ring. First, I start by poking my scissors through the poster board to make a hole so I can start cutting. So I kind of poke, stick the point through the poster board and wiggle it. So now I have place where I can stick my scissor blade through and I'm going to cut out the inner circle just like this. All around and it's going to turn into a nice ring so it'll look like a wreath that's open in the center. Now, there, check it out. I got it. There. <laughs> Now what I want to do with that is I want to make sure that I can I can um, hang it up. So I'm going to add a hanger right now. I've got a hole punch. Or if you don't have a hole punch, you can just take your scissors and put a hole in your poster board. 
anywhere that you think you want the top. So there we go. I'm wiggling my scissors to make a hole or easier than that, I am gonna put a hole punch right there at the quick chunk. And then if you have a string, you can have any kind of string or yarn or cord that looks kind of pretty. I have some raffia and I have some twine and any of those things or just a piece of brown yarn or any string or ribbon will work. So I'm gonna take the end of my, my ribbon here which is actually a piece of raffia grass, and I'm gonna stick it through the hole and tie, tie it on. And then I'm gonna tie a loop. There, there's my loop. So I'm gonna tie a loop. Then I can trim it. There, see how I've got a loop? <laughs> Good, okay, so there's our base. So now we're gonna put some corn on it. Now we need another template for the corn so they all look the same. Um, it looks neater that way, but if yours don't look all the same, that's fine too, because it'll look kind of cool and artsy. So how are we gonna make our corn cobs? I'll show you how to make a template. See, they look pretty cool and they look all the same on this wreath. So let's see if we can make a template so that we can make our corn look all the same. I'm going to just set the ring aside for a second and put my another piece of paper down. And um, this is a little bit heavier paper so that I can trace around it. How am I going to make a piece of corn? You know, here's my piece of corn. It's kind of oblong. I want a whole bunch of these and I want to make sure that I've got the right shape. It, it's kind of an oval. If you look at a piece of corn on my picture here, they're all kind of really long ovals. So the way to do that is you take, you take a ruler and I am going to draw a line that's oh, maybe seven inches long. That's pretty good size, right? And then I'm going to, that's how long I want to make, and I'm gonna put across right across my line that's about maybe an inch on each side there we go now how am i going to turn that into a piece of corn i'm going to take and i'm going to draw a connector from the top to the bottom and around and touch and then down to the back so there so if you take a look at the outside shape it's actually about the shape that a piece of corn looks like. So if I cut this out, there's my template. This is heavier paper than any, you know, like if you had, oops, there I'm cutting. <laughs> if you had the box of a uh, cardboard from a cereal box, that would work. But any paper will do. So there's my template for my pieces of corn that I'm going to cut. So next. I need a template for the leaves. Check that out. So how am I going to make a template or pattern so that my leaves look good? Well, that's pretty fun too. Let's check this out. So there's my heavy paper again. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to place my piece of corn down there and I'm going to make a U all around my piece of corn on the outside. See, here I go. I'm going to make a U all around my corn because the leaves of corn go all around the cob. Okay, I'm going to come up here. There's my U. Can you see how I made a U? <laughs> there it is. And so now I'm going to make a second U that goes deep down into the first U like this. See how I did that? <laughs> so that's going to be the template for our leaves. It's looking more corny, don't you think? All right, so I'm going to cut that out. All right. There's my template. There's my pattern for leaves. 
right, so now we have two patterns. A ring pattern, actually three patterns. We have the ring pattern for the wreath, we have the corn pattern for the cob, we have the leaf pattern for the leaves. Okay, so I know you wanna get into some painting pretty soon, but I think we better cut our leaves and our corn cobs first so it won't get so messy. So I have two colors of green for the leaves. And I'm gonna cut a few at a time because it's just easier that way. So I'm going to trace with a light color around my leaf, just like this. Well, I trace with green, that's pretty cool. Leaves are green. Okay, so I traced one there and I trace one there. Oops, can you see what I'm doing? I'm sorry. There we go. I'm on camera now. Okay, I'm tracing around my template and I've got two leaves. All right, so now if I want to cut out more than one at the same time with the other color, the darker color, I put that on the back and I'm gonna cut out four leaves just as quick as I can. So I'm cutting around where I traced my leaves. Whoops. Go down the U and up the other side. And yep, I've got two at the same time. See that? I've got a dark one and I've got a light one. And now I've got, I'm cutting my second one over here. I'm wondering right now, how many of these am I going to have to cut to fill up my ring or the base, my wreath? See, there's two more right there. Okay, I'm going to get that out of the way for a second. Let's see. Let's fit them along and see what it looks like. I'm just going to go one. Oops. That's in the way. Okay. So I'm going to go one. Two, three, four. Oh, I'm going to need about, going to need quite a few more, I think. So let's see if we can do that. With my pattern again. I'm going to do one right here. Tracing my leaf pattern, whoopsie. Oh, <laughs> tracing my leaf pattern around here and up. And I'm gonna hold that onto another darker sheet so I can do two at a time. It's always a good thing to do. Saves us time. So here's going to be two more leaves. Okay, there's two more. A light one and a dark one. <laughs> now, what we're going to do more. is um, just get this going. And out of the way, let's let's glue our leaves onto the ring with the glue stick. So here we go. Light, <laughs> light leaf. I'm forming a pattern. Dark leaf. A light leaf and a dark leaf and a light leaf. Oops, now there, I almost put my leaf over the hole that I'm hanging it with. I don't wanna cover it up, oops. Okay, I'm just gluing these leaves down all the way around. The ring. 
Now I'm on a light leaf. Now I'm on a dark leaf. It's a great pattern. Or if you have only one color of green um, construction paper, that's okay too. That will look just as good. I just happen to have dark and light, so I decided, whoops, oh no, I need another light leaf for my pattern. This is not gonna work. I don't have my pattern totally done. Maybe I'll do one afterwards. Okay, so it's all filled up. And now we're gonna do some corn cobs. I'm gonna put this aside because before we glue the corn cobs on, we're gonna do some painting. But we have to cut some corn cobs. And remember my template? There it is. So I am going to take a marker and trace around my template so that I will have corn cob. I have some paper and I think two of them will fit on here. And yep, they are. So I'm gonna hold some paper together. Well, let me trace two more, because then I can do a bunch. Here we go. And over here. Okay, and cut again. So I always like to cut two pieces of paper together. It just saves me time. So there's my corn cob shapes. Cut, 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 cut. I'm gonna end up with four. One, two, three, four. There we go. Four corn cobs. And I'm holding two pieces of paper together again. So I'm gonna have eight. I'm gonna have eight corn cobs to paint. And you can do more. Depending on how big your wreath was, your wreath ring was, maybe you don't have as many as I do. Or maybe you have more. Maybe you have a really huge one. I don't know. Doesn't matter because they're all gonna look super great. They're gonna look just like corn with the leaves. Okay, so there we go. So I'm gonna put my templates out of the way. I'm gonna get out my corn cobs because now I'm gonna paint them. <laughs> I'm gonna spread them out. Now, if you traced around a piece of white paper and you see the edges of the marker kind of showing, you can flip them to the other side because then you can't see the marker and that'll be the back side and your lines won't show. So I got a bunch of corn cobs. All right, so how are we gonna paint them? This is the funnest part. I'm gonna take my paper plate. Let's see, here's my paper plate. And I'm gonna squirt some paint around my paper plate. There's some orange. Yeah. And uh, here's some yellow. Whoops, I'll put over here. Come on, yellow. You're not squirting, yellow. Hey. All right, so we're gonna have to get, <laughs> we're gonna have to take the lid off and just pour. There we go. My bottle wasn't squirting. <laughs> pour some paint. And a little bit of red. Ooh, my red is thick. <laughs> and a little bit of purple. Or if you have brown or black, that works too. This is just the darkest color I had. Okay, so now what are we gonna do? <laughs> I think I wanna try some with bubble wrap. So I got some bubble wrap and I'm gonna cut off a section of bubble wrap with my scissors. Whoops. Oh, I set my scissors down, I can't find them. Oh well, I'm gonna rip off a chunk of bubble wrap. Oh, there's the scissors, I found them. All right, okay, so here's a chunk of bubble wrap, right? 
So bubble wrap has a smoother side and a bubblier side, and we're going to paint the bubblier side. And I have a foam brush, but any brush will work. You can use either one of these kind. And so I'm going to put lots of different colors on my bubble wrap, just paint, just painting it. See how I'm doing that? I'm putting a bunch of yellow paint on my bubble wrap. And then I think I'll put some orange paint on my bubble wrap, just kind of around it. And some more yellow. And maybe even some red. See how my bubble wrap's getting all painted up? It's just, uh, I'm gonna use my other brush. I'm gonna just do a touch of the dark. Okay, so take a look at what I just painted. Painted my bubble wrap. Now the, <laughs> the bubble wrap is gonna give the corn cob effect on my corn. So here is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna print my bubble wrap over the top of a piece of corn like this. Here we go, one, oops, one, two, three, and press down. There we go. Oh, cool. What's that gonna look like? Sweet. Does that look like corn? Oops, I missed one of the ends. So there we go. Pat, pat, pat. Ooh, yeah, check it out. Looks like corn. Yeah. Okay, so I'm gonna set that aside to dry for a second because um, we're gonna try something else and then when we're all done, we will glue those cobs of corn all over our leaves on the wreath. Pretty awesome. Okay, so a little bit more, I added a little bit more paint to my bubble wrap because I want to do another one with bubble wrap. Okay, so here we go. Whoops, there it is. Okay, so press down with my bubble wrap. Now if your bubble wrap gets all kind of messy and gooey, you can cut off another section of it, but I, I'm not going to. Okay, there we go. Two bubble wrap printed pieces of corn. I love it. Okay, so let's see what else we have. How about a real ear corn. <laughs> That's gonna be fun. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna paint my real ear corn with some yellow paint. Do, 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 do. And I'm gonna paint my real ear corn with a little bit of orange paint on the top of that. Kind of all around it. <laughs> this is kind of messy. I'm not gonna eat this later, guys. Not happening. Um, and you can use field corn too, besides sweet corn. Okay, so check it out. That's what I did to my, my <laughs> ear of corn. So now I'm gonna roll it, oops. I'm gonna roll it across my corn and see what happens. Oh, awesome, that works too. Okay, there we go. I'm gonna do another one of those, but first I'm gonna add just a little, every time you print something, you can dab a little bit more paint on it. So it'll be nice and bright when you roll it on your corn cups. Okay, so there we go. I'm rolling, I'm rolling, I'm rolling. And I'm getting messy. <laughs> so I did two of those. I'm gonna do three of those. Oh, a little more. Uh, ooh, I just put my thumb in the whole thing. There we go. A little bit more on there. Cha, 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 cha. I love colors. They're so fun. Okay, so here we go again. Roll, roll, roll. Roll, roll, roll. Roll, roll, roll. Cool. All right, so <laughs> the next awesome thing I have to paint with is a potato masher. Have you seen a potato masher before? That's the end of the potato masher. Do you think that maybe those zigzags will make it look like rows of corn on a cob? Let's find out. I'm gonna set the ones I painted over here again. Actually dropped one on the floor a minute ago. Um, okay, so here's my potato masher. I am gonna paint the end of my potato masher with all my cool colors. Oh, a little bit of yellow, a little bit of red. Oh, ooh, good. <laughs> and a little bit of purple. Okay, so now what do you think is gonna happen? Okay, wait, I gotta put this on camera better. There we go. Get this out of the way. Move it. Okay, so we're gonna paint this one right now. All right, potato masher, let's find out. 
<laughs> yeah, that's not bad. I like that, actually. Let's hold that up to the camera a little bit better. I smeared it. It's not too bad. That looks kind of awesome. And then the last one, I'm going to do this one again. Um, because it's metal, it really kind of slides around. So be careful. And I am painting, painting, painting on the end of my potato masher. And here we go again. Oh, I smeared it again. <laughs> oh, well. And the last one up there. Ta-da. That turned out kind of cool. All right. So now I'm going to get the paint out of the way. Oh, wait. I have one more to do. I think we're going to have to do real corn with that because it's right here. OK, I have one more corn left. That was blank. There, that was good. All right, so I'm getting the paint out of the way. And I've got a whole bunch of pieces of corn. And I'm going to put those out of the way temporarily for a second and wipe off my table. I actually just put a piece of um, paper towel down on my table while we glue all these wonderful corn prints to our wreath. All right, just a minute. Paper towel to the rescue. And there is my corn wreath with all the leaves on it and my glue stick. So let's do this. Okay, so the first one I'm gonna do is, where's my hand? All right, let's do one right there. I'm going to do this light one. So I'm putting a little bit of glue stick on my leaf. And then I'm going to pick out which piece of corn that I want. Now, you at home, you might have an advantage to wait until your corn paint dries. <laughs> that might be a good idea. But waiting is not my strong point. And I am going to glue everything down right now. It's a little messier that way because I have to touch wet paint. <laughs> okay, so there's two of them. And here is another one. <laughs> another one over here. And I'm going to use the bubble wrap one. So I have corn, corn, bubble wrap. I think I'll do. Let me see what I did, yeah. I'm gonna do a potato masher one, right there. Gluing all around. Hey, it's looking good. See that, see how that's looking? So I'm gonna go all the way around it. And so I'll, I'll just finish right now, gluing all the rest of the ones that we printed. And then if I have to make some more corn, I will. And if I have to print some more corn, I will. But I might come out even, I don't know. Okay, so I don't know if you can see what I'm doing now. I'm just gluing more corn onto my leaves. Anywhere I have a leaf, I put a little piece of corn. Okay, whoop, <laughs> goose stick. All right, so there we go. So that's basically it. I am going to turn the camera back to FaceTime and hold up the whole wreath so that you can see it. And I hope yours is turning out good too. Hi, okay, so we're back to FaceTime and I'm gonna hold up my whole wreath. There it is. It actually turned out pretty big. And then, Oops, there's my hand. I'm missing a corn cob right there. But there it is. Spectacular. You can hang it on your door when it's nice and dry. So we hope you had a good time making your corn cob wreaths today. And join us again when we do something else again on our kids' craft lab. See you next time.
ever seen before. And here's where you get to make a choice. Was it... Ah, a giant Tyrannosaurus Rex? And I'm just gonna stick some pine cones in my box, and um, then the fun starts. I just start rolling them around. The air rushing out of the balloon is going to push that balloon up. So let's see what happens. All right, one, two, three. Oh, wow. So that's how rockets kind of work. We are going to build two different kinds of rockets today. 